implicit functions. So we're going to look at differentiation of an implicit function. So what do you understand by the term implicit function? We, so we want to look at differentiation of implicit functions. So first of all, look at you can say the function, the functions given in the form, given in the form y equals fx, such as, such as y equals two x comma y equals x cubed maybe plus 2x squared plus 5x plus 3 and many others and many others are known as 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 equations are known as equations Whereas, whereas functions, whereas functions, whereas functions that can't be, that can't be expressed, that can't be expressed in form. So we are going to now look at how do we differentiate that you can say when when differentiating such functions when differentiating such functions when differentiating such functions with respect to x with respect to x or y when is it differentiate them with respect to x or y, we consider each, we consider, we consider each individual, we consider each of the individual term, we consider each of the individual, individual term, each of the individual term in the equation given. Equation in the equation in the equation given in the equation given. So consider each of the term in the equation given. So we are going to look at now examples. Examples. 
examples, example, that was example one. So we are going to be differentiating one by one. Like here you see the this one alone, this one's alone, this one alone. This one alone. Like here, this one alone, this one alone, this one alone, this one alone, even that one. That's why I say you differentiate each of the term independently. Example one. Example one. Find the y dx in find the y dx. Find y dx. Find dy dx in the edge of the following functions. Find y dx. Maybe you can say for each for each of the following for each of the following functions for each of the following functions. Part A x squared So I'm going to be putting one by one as we are getting it. So, so. so you can see that you cannot easily make y the subject before. It cannot be expressed in terms of y plus fx. It can't. So what do you do when they have given you x squared minus 6y cubed plus y equals 0. You differentiate the left hand side alone together with the right hand side alone. And differentiate each and every function here independently. So we're going to look at d dx of x squared minus 6y cubed plus y equals d dx of 0. So when we say d dx of this here, when you differentiate all these ones with respect to x, that's what we're going to look at. When I differentiate x squared, what do we get? Get to x minus. When I differentiate 6y cubed. When you visit y, you get the y dx. So this one you're going to get 18y squared dy dx. Okay. Plus when you visit a y, I get the y dx. Equals when you visit a zero, I still get a zero. Now those ones with y dx, we collect them together. Those ones with not the y dx, we leave them. Now Look at this value here. This one is I can take all these ones there. Or you can set to x with a dress out to the y dx plus the y dx out. I remain with negative 18 y squared plus 1 equals 0. So if I want to remain with the y dx, what do I do? Take this one the other It becomes a negative. So we remain with the y dx into 1 minus 18y squared equals negative 2x. How can I get the y dx alone divided by this? How do I get the y dx? The y dx becomes negative 2x all over 1 minus 18y squared. So this is how we get the y dx given those expressions. Then we are going to go to part B. That was part A. Then we are going to part B. Example on part B. What is it saying? It is saying x squared y. x squared y equals 5x plus 2. Uh -huh. What do we do with this? Consider the left hand side and the source right hand side. So what do we do here? Still. In the solution, we are going to look at d dx of the left hand side, which is x squared y, which is equal to d dx of what is inside 5x plus 2. So, can we apply how do we differentiate this one? You can see this one is a product uv. So, we are going to use our idea of v du dx. Side, ah, we're going to use that formula. So, what is our v? Our v in this line, what is our v? What is our v? Is y times. What is the dx? When I differentiate x squared, what do we get? 2x plus. What is our u? 
our U is already x squared. When I differentiate v, the v with respect to x squared, we get, we get the word dx. Very good. Equals, when I differentiate 5x, I get a 5. You differentiate a 2, you get a c. So when you write what, what does it become? It becomes 2xy plus x squared dy dx. That was in equals a 5. So we collect like terms. Those ones with y dx, Yes, those ones with no dy dx, they go on the other side. This one is a positive. When it goes, it comes what? A negative. We can remain with x squared dy dx equals 5 minus 2xc y. So we remain with dy dx. We divide out by x squared. So what is our dy dx? Our dy dx becomes 5 minus 2xy all over x squared. You are finished. Getting to the y dx. As the question was saying, find y dx for each of the following functions. So I've already got our dy dx. So that's how we handle such a kind of the numbers. So we are now moving to part C. We are now going to move to part C. We are going to move to part C. C, at C, at C, at C. So here we are now moving. At C, at C was x plus y power five, x plus y. Over 5 minus 5x squared equals a 0. Ah, how do we differentiate that? Is x plus 5y, x plus y power 5 minus y x squared equals 0. What do we do with this? To ease the work, I can even first take this one just say. Uh huh. How do we handle? What do we remain with? Remain with x plus y over 5 equals 5x squared. Can we look at d dx of x plus y over 5 equals d dx of 5x squared. So, how do we differentiate this on the respect to x? You see here the power. You first bring the power from up 5 into, like this one as it is, x plus y power 4 times. Now we differentiate inside. When I differentiate x, I get 1 plus. When I differentiate y, I get dy dx, which is equal to when I differentiate this, I get 10x. Now, I'm free to open the brackets inside. I'm free to open what we get. We are getting 5 into x plus y power 4 plus 5 into x plus y power 4 dy dx equals 10x. By mere c, 5 is common everywhere. I can even reduce it. I can reduce 5, 5, and here you mean we say 2. You get that? If you can go there, you can. So what we remain with? x plus y power 4 plus x plus y power 4 dy dx equals 2x. I want to remain with dy dx. This one here is a positive. When the positive comes what? A negative. We remain with, see here, this one is going to say, I remain with x plus y power 4 dy dx equals 2x was 2x minus x plus y power 4. So can we get the y dx? How do we get the y dx? The y dx equals 2x minus x plus y power 4 all over, you divide by this, all over 
x plus y power 4. Ah, and you have already got u and y dx. That's why we handle these implicit functions. And we are going to continue doing more and more until when we come to the knowledge of understanding them and we can easily apply them. That was part C. Now we need to move to part D. Then I said I'm very, I normally give very many examples, such that if you do not understand the first concept and the first example, understanding the second, if not even the second, by the time when we exhaust all, we will have already got the whole concept. So we are moving to part D. Part D goes x cubed all over x plus y equals 3. Ah. So what we are going to do is this. What do we do is this. You can first of all cross multiply to is the one. Cross multiply. Solution. What do we remain with? We mean with x cubed equals 3 into x plus y. Very good. <clears throat> then you are free to open the bracket. So this is x cubed equals 3x plus c y. So if I look at d dx of this side x cubed equals d dx of c d x plus c d y. So can we differentiate this one with respect to x? When you translate x cubed, what do you get? You get c d x squared equals, when I divide CDX, I get a 3 plus, when I divide CDY, I get a CDY DX. Now, those ones with no DX, with no DY DX, bring them together. What am I going to have? CDX squared minus the 3 equals CDY DX. I can divide by 3. If I sort by 3, what do I mean with? X squared. One equals dy dx. So I will do for the other our dy dx equals x squared minus one. That's how you can easily get all these concepts very, very fast. Then you let's go to another part, part E. Part E goes x out of y plus y out of x equals one. So what is the first step? The first step is get the LCM and the LCM. So what is the LCM? LCM is XY. My address out by LCM. We say XY times X out of Y plus XY times Y out of X equals XY. Can we reduce Y Y goes I mean with X squared plus Y squared equals x y very good then from there we look at what we call d dx of every side we look at d dx of x squared plus y squared equals d dx of x y here we are going to apply product you can see their, their product so how do we differentiate x squared you get 2x plus 2y dy dx equals v. What is our v? We are applying v du dx plus, plus u dv dx. What is our v? Is y. When I divide a u, I get 1. Plus, what is our u? x. When I divide y, I get dy dx. You can see how the thing is moving on. So what do we get? We get 2x plus 2y dy dx equals y plus x dy dx. Now what do we do? Those ones with dy dx bring them together and those ones with no dy dx also bring them together. So we're going to have 2y dy dx minus x dy dx equals y minus 2x. This one has cost. Now, what is common? What is common is dy dx. 
we are made with 2y minus x equals y minus 2x. So we divide by, we want to remain with dy dx. What do we do? Divide by 2y minus x. What is dy dx? dy dx equals y minus 2x all over 2y minus x. That's what we call differentiating numbers up to the last climax. That's how we do such a kind of the numbers related to that. So we are now moving to another another concept. When you see these numbers, don't and don't leave these free marks. These marks are made for you. And you can easily get them so long as you practice. Get the concept of product rule. So you started with product rule, when to steal and instead of at the end.